Uh, name's Andy Vonnywagen. Uh, farm up here in Northwest Iowa, right around the small town of Terrell. Um, farm primarily corn and soybeans. I mean, we run a case IH corn head, so we were seeing, you know, a substantial amount of shelling. You know, you could see it right from the cab when you're running the machine going through the field. Um, a lot of, I think a lot of our problem was just the combine. It, it runs the head so fast. It's got, it's got some settings on there, but it, it runs the head so fast that it really pulls that ear off the plant aggressively and it hits the, hits the deck plates and you get a lot of butt shelling going on there. And uh, we were just looking to kind of eliminate that and uh, capture that yield loss. You know, we, you grow it all year long and invest in it and then it's really painful to watch that pour out the bottom of your head before you even get a chance to put it in the bin. So um, I guess that's, that's kind of the challenges we were running into with it. The best way that we tried to manage kernel loss at the head was just try and keep our deck plates as tight as we possibly could. You know, we're, we're constantly changing that thing going across the field, opening and closing them, trying to catch as many ears as we could. And then we would also mess with speed a little bit. Um, you know, whether we go a little bit slower and try to let that corn head do its job to pull that stalk through and, and get that ear in the head or in some instances maybe even speed up a little bit if we're getting too much boiling going on on the corn head and it's and it's coming out the front so uh, basically just speed and deck plate is about the only two real options that we had um, we bought this corn head brand new and i mean pretty much ever since it was brand new we've we've seen that type of problem with it um, so we, we knew we, we wanted to do something there, so that's what kind of led us towards Yield Saver. I mean, yeah, basically once we put Yield Saver on there, we were able to open our deck plates up a little considerably wider than what we would have normally had. And to be honest with you, after you open them up, you don't really see them anymore because the brushes cover them up. So it's kind of just an afterthought after that. So it, you start running it through the head and letting the brushes do the work that what the, what the deck plates would have done. And, and that, that kind of really eliminated having to sit there with your thumb on the control handle all day and mess mess around with that going back and forth on your deck place adjustment but even even bringing the bringing the ears into the head you know you've got that chain there with the brushes on it and it cushions that you're not going against a hard steel deck plate and just watching the butt of, of those ears just explode i mean you've got something to cushion there and catch that so one you minimize the amount of butt shelling up front in the first place and then two anything that would butt shell you're sweeping it in with the brushes so it's kind of the best of both worlds and as those brushes wear I guess it's not you know it's not necessarily a huge concern for me because they're still cushioning that ear and you're still eliminating that that butt shelling and it's and it's still doing a good job so I'm really happy with how that how that does in the in really dry corn too we had some really dry corn last year that it without those it's not a doubt in my mind we probably would have had at least a four to five bushel loss if we didn't put them on. It, it's as good as advertised. I'm going to be honest, I was skeptical at first, you know, am I going to bring in more trash? Is it really going to save that much more? And, and first-hand experience, yes, we did bring in more material, but part of that was due to the year that we had and the crop conditions that we had. We spray fungicide on everything, so our plants were pretty much 100% intact when we're harvesting it. and. Uh, it, and we did, we, we brought in more, more leaf and, and a little bit more stock, but again, it gave us the opportunity to capture all of the, all, all of the kernels and all of the corn that was on that plant and then uh, allow the combine to do its job, just fine tune some settings on the combine a little bit to kind of accommodate for that extra trash that was running through the machine and, and at the end of the day we really didn't have very many kernels on the ground. I mean, you can hold in one hand the amount of kernels we had on the ground versus before we would have had, I don't know, we'd had a whole bunch. <laughs>